have two moves. One of them is fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. And the other one is Himanya squash banana manya banya manya manya. Hey everyone, it's Mad Witch here. Today we're talking about the Castle of Good Hope, which is some place that I love not only for the paranormal experiences, but also just because of how the place is run. The Castle of Good Hope is currently a museum, and it hosts a variety of different art exhibits and history exhibits. In their gift shop, they mainly support local small businesses, which is great and should happen more. And their website is one of the most thorough things I have ever found for research. They have events happening, they have history, they have uh, even paranormal experiences on their site. It's great and it's beautiful and it made my life so much easier! So like always, we're gonna get started in the history first, and there is a lot of it because this is the oldest building in South Africa. And pretty much all of the history that I needed was on their website! So the Castle of Good Hope began construction because there were rumors of war happening between the Netherlands and Britain. In 1665, construction of the Castle of Good Hope and its foundations began. In 1667, peace returned to England, so the construction of the Castle of Good Hope was just put to the side because they didn't really need a fortress anymore. Not at that time. It didn't last long though because in 1672, new war came to England and construction of the Castle of Good Hope was renewed with new enthusiasm. In 1695, new additions were added to the castle, such as a church, a bakery, workshops, living quarters, uh, other shops, cells, and the gallows. Things were calm and people were living in the castle actively until 1899. This is during the Second Bayo War, which I think I am saying right, B-O-E-R, War. Beor? 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 I don't know. And during this war, the prison cells were actively used for prisoners. In 1936, the castle is declared a historical monument. In the 2000s, it was named a provincial heritage site. I said that there was a lot of history, and there is, I just had to boil it all down so that it would fit in a video. Especially since there are a lot of hauntings to go along with this place. So let's start with Governor Nordit. I don't know if I'm saying his name right either. Governor Nordit was a man who famously had a very rotten mouth, as well as rotten morals. He sent multiple soldiers who were accused of desertion to the gallows, and when one soldier did not have his last wish fulfilled, he decided to curse Governor Nordit at the gallows, like as he was about to get hung. And this was a pretty powerful curse, because the same night, Governor Nordit was found dead in his office, presumably from a heart attack. It's said that you can still hear him swear from within the castle walls. The spirit of a black dog has been heard barking and seen running at full force towards you before disappearing at the last second. Mood. Lady Anna Bernard was the first lady of the castle in the late 18th century. One of her jobs was to entertain any important people that come to the castle, and sometimes she still does that job. It's also rumored that she's the one who hung a cursed painting of peacocks in a garden above her mantel place in the drawing room. This painting is covered in cloth out of fear that anyone who touches it will die. An apparition of a lady in a gray cloak has been seen crying in her hands since 1860. However, since a body was found near one of the front gates, no one has seen her apparition again. One of the most haunted places in the castle is the Donkergat. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but it translates to Dark Hole. This is a small, windowless prison cell right next to a room that was used for torture. At times, prisoners were kept in the torture chamber overnight during high tide. Water would flood in the room and inevitably drown the prisoners. Unsurprisingly, voices, screams for help, and shuffling sounds are often heard here. In the 18th century, a soldier killed himself from the bell tower by tying himself to the bell and jumping. Now the access to the bell tower has been locked up long ago, however, sometimes you will still hear the bell go off. The apparition of a tall man will sometimes be seen jumping off the walls of the castle. One time a man and a woman were heard arguing near a guard post. 
However, when it was investigated, they found no one there. Only a shapeless figure was found, and I assume that that shapeless figure just disappeared. Alright, that's all I have on the Castle of Good Hope. Definitely look into it yourself because this is such an interesting subject and I'm very enthusiastic about it. If there's something that you know about the Castle of Good Hope, or if you've ever been there, please tell me in the comments down below, I want to hear it so bad. But that's gonna be all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is Mad Witch signing out. Keep it spooky.